Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This video will help you master the skills on how to count the number of occurrences of an outcome in an experiment using different counting methods and techniques. So we're going to use the table, the tree diagram, systematic listing, and the fundamental counting principle. Let us now differentiate the counting methods and the counting techniques. So, counting methods, these are ways of doing something like making decisions and predicting outcomes. While counting techniques, these are the ability to apply a particular task skillfully. So, let's have this experiment, tossing a coin and rolling a die simultaneously. The possible outcomes, H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, H6, T1, T2, T3, T4, T5, T6. So, H stands for the head and T stands for the tail of the coin. And then the sample space, S is equal to braces, H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, H6, T1, T2, T3, T4, T5, T6. In that experiment, we're going to use the table. So, kung nakikita ninyo yung first column natin, yun yung head and tail ng coin. And yung first row natin, yun yung mga faces ng isang die. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, as you can see, combination lang ng uh, coin at saka die ang gagawin natin sa kanila. And then, if we are going to use the tree diagram, as you can see, meron tayong mga coins and then may mga sanga-sanga siya para sa bawat faces ng ating die. If we are going to use the systematic listing, it is a method of determining the number of outcomes of an experiment by enumerating or making a list of all the possible outcomes. So, listing lang siya ng mga possible outcomes. So, yun yung systematic listing. Now, kung using the fundamental counting principles or the product rule, it is a technique of finding the number of possible outcomes of an experiment without listing. So, in this case, hindi tayo maglilist but instead we are going to solve kung ilan ang possible outcomes. So, if one event can occur in M ways, a second event can occur in N ways, and a third event can occur in P ways, and so on, then the sequence of event can occur in M times N times P times dot dot dot. So, this is known as the product rule or rule of product. So, ang magiging tanong is, how many possible outcomes are there if a die is rolled once and a coin is tossed once? So, in rolling a die, we have 6 possible outcomes and tossing a coin, we have 2 possible outcomes. So, what we are going to do is to just multiply 6 times 2, then the answer is 12. Okay, so easy lang ang fundamental counting principles or the product rule. Basta kailangan lang alam ninyo kung ilan ang possible outcomes ng isang experiment. Now, dito naman tayo sa isang example. Using the digits from 1 to 9, how many 3-digit numbers can be formed if repetition is A allowed, B not allowed? So, in this case, using the product rule, since we will form 3-digit numbers, so we are going to reserve space for each digit. So, tatlong digits yun, di ba? So, if repetition of digits is allowed, yung first digit natin, since 1 to 9 yun, any number from 1 to 9 can be used. So, 9 ang ating ilalagay sa first digit. Sa second digit, since may repetition, 1 to 9 pa rin ang pwede nating ilagay. Any number from 1 to 9. And then, sa third digit, ganun din kasi repetition is allowed. So, any number from 1 to 9 uli ang pwede nating ilagay. So, we will just multiply 9 times 9 times 9 is equal to 729. So, there are 729 possible outcomes of a 3-digit number if repetition of digits is allowed. So, repetition of digits is not allowed. Ang first digit natin ay kailangan kompleto pa rin. So, ba 1 to 9. So, any number from 1 to 9. Now, sa second digit, since... Hindi allowed ang repetition, kailangan bawasan na natin ng isa. So, magiging 8 yon. And then, sa third digit, since dalawa na yung nagamit na number, 7 na lang ang ilalagay natin. Okay? 
So, to multiply 9 times 8 times 7 is equal to 504. So, there are 504 possible outcomes if repetition of digits is not allowed. So, I hope na intindihan ninyo ang pag explain ko regarding sa table, tree diagram, systematic listing, at fundamental counting principles ng probability. Till my next video, thanks for watching.